ഹലോ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു ജാവ എഫ് ഫാക്സ് ജി യു വൈ ടുറിയൽ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു സി ഹൗ ടു യൂസ് കളർ പിക്കർ ടു പിക്ക് എ സ്പെസിഫിക് കളർ ദെൻ വി വിൽ ആൾസോ സി ഹൗ ടു യൂസ് ദറ്റ് കളർ ടു അസൈൻ ഫോർ ഗ്രൗണ്ട് ഫോർ ദി ലേബിൾ സോ യു ക്യാൻ യൂസ് ദി കളർ പിക്കർ ടു create the paint object and that paint object can be used to change the foreground or background color of the uh, notes so here in this example we take this label as a node and we will apply color for the label here you will learn how to use color picker you will learn what is standard color what is hsb color and what is rgb color JavaFX provides color picker which allows user for selecting a color using built-in JavaFX dialog. The control, control means here the color picker control will display a combo box initially. So when you add the color picker to the container, what is displayed is a combo box and it will look like this. by default uh, a white color is shown in the combo box uh, display area so when user clicks the drop down when user clicks the drop down it will display color swatches and we can pick a standard color from it so for example once the drop down is picked so this is what called uh, color swatches and uh, all these colors are standard color you can just uh, point the arrow and pick uh, or click on the swatch so each rectangle here or square here denotes one color swatch so each color swatch is uh, representing a standard colors i mean each uh, color swatch representing a standard color when the needed color is not in the standard color so if you don't want any of this color then you can go for the custom color that means you can click this link here when your requirement doesn't meet any of the standard color here in the palette so we call this entire stuff as a color palette and it displays the standard color using the separate swatches so once you click the custom color it will display one more dialog the dialog is titled custom color from here you can pick either rgb or hsb or web based color so rgb is based on red green blue component by mixing this value from 0 to 255 you can pick a specific color or if you go to hsb then it will be based on hue saturation and brightness so there are two technique to pick the color so you can use the color wheel and or uh, this uh, uh, color picking area and you can pick a color or you can make a color by adjusting this uh, or uh, by using or by using these uh, tracker controls so we can handle the action event on color picker so the action event on it means action event on the color picker action event on it means action event on the color picker and make a call to get value method to know the picked color so get value will give you the color and you can use that color to set a foreground or background of an object the return value of the get value given to any method which uh, looks for paint object so for example you can set background or foreground of a text field or label so
so here if you see this is the label and we will use this color picker and using the color picker we can set the foreground for the label so here we create a label so this is to pick a color from a color picker dialog and apply the color to the label so that's why here we are creating a label and when we are creating we are creating it with a bigger size so we create a font and we set the font to the label now the label looks somewhat bigger so that you can see the picked color all right then initially we are making call to set text fill so this will expect a paint object so this is what we are going to pick using the color picker but here we initially posited a constant that represents the color so here crimson is the color uh, which is a constant instance of paint and we are setting that to our label so set text fill that applies the color crimson color to the label then we are adding that label to the f pen control so by this time you are well aware of what this means it's a observable list of node which may be picked from some of the container control that you will see that you will see when we go to the code so here we are creating the color picker instance then we are adding that to the f pan control so this will add a combo box and it will initially display a white color next to this call pick we are making call to set an action so inside the handle method we once again make a call to set a text fill on our label and if you see what we pass to this text fill is a get value method of our call pick so col pick is a instance of color picker so when you make a call to uh, get value this will give you the uh, color which is uh, picked by the color picker dialog so here we are creating the color picker we are adding the color picker to the f pan control it displays a combo box and for the combo box we are adding the or we are handling the uh, event when user interacts with it that means when they click this it will display the color picker dialog and the user can pick a color and to know which color is picked by the user we are handling the uh, event user interaction event and during that event itself we get a value and we are setting the color to the label so that means user clicks here it displays the dialog they will pick some color let's state they pick a color using the color switch once they pick it it will get assigned to the set text fill method now it's demo time let's go to the demo and implement this now we will close this let me copy and we will do a paste refactor copy and here so we 
give you a name for our class refactor so we need this uh, start method let's uh, have that because uh, the launch will look for the start since it's a overridden version the launch will internally make a call to this uh, start method so here we so here we create the flow pen so observable list is ready our scene is created out of flow pen we are creating the label and setting the font then assigning the color to our uh, text box not a text box label label was created here next uh, here we are setting the stage and showing it So the label is a displayed. This is the label we will use to learn how color picker can be used to change the color of this label. So here we are creating the color picker. We are adding it to our uh, flow pen. Then we are handling the action event for the combo box. So color picker will initially display a combo box, right? So we are setting action means we are setting action for the combo box. And in the action itself, we are getting the value, color value, and we are setting it to our label. So let's build this. so the ultimate goal is changing the color for label right lbl3 dot set text fill so that particular call will be made when user interacts with this uh, combo box set an action that's what we are handling right so now action is going to happen on this combo that's all now let me pick some color this time I'm picking a color from the standard color and if you see since we setting the text on the action of this combo uh, the color got changed immediately so now we can use custom color also here this is what called HSB so using this uh, color wheel or color bar you can pick a specific color you can see this hue will get changed so that's a zero it goes to 360 that means it's actually a color wheel and the angle changes from so this is actually a degree zero to 360 degree so it represents a specific color based on the color emission technology so you can decide a specific color so since our form is somewhat white i am picking a brighter color here so this is the hue i am picking then saturation if you see when it is at zero percentage 
it will be in the pale side and moves to the bright side for the picked color so you can also look at the color here so you can see how it increases from pale to high intensity color also you can make use of brightness also so this will be light and this will be dark you can see this as well so let me go here and so this we will apply more brightness okay this will be enough so here i'm clicking on use and if you see the color is used here so there are other techniques also this is a red green blue a combination of uh, the intensities red green blue intensity and we can pick a specific color so that's the use of color picker you just saw how to use the color picker and get value from there and if you see it returns so it's a generic and the set to text field expects a paint so whatever object that needs a paint you can use a color picker dialog that's all here in this video thank you for watching